evening, everyone, and welcome to another piano lesson with Warren. My name is Warren McPherson. And in today's tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about turnaround chords and how you can use them in your playing. Um, a turnaround chords are basically just a series of chord progressions that, is, that are played at the end of a phrase or at the end of the song that turns around and take you back to the top of the song or to chord one. Basically, that's what a turnaround is. And so basically, whenever we have anything in that sort of turnaround fashion, it's going to require uh, sort of 2-5-1 or 3-6-2-5-1 progressions. Those are the two chords. So in my example earlier, in my opening, I was playing What a Mighty God Be Served. And as you can see in the ending, I was doing some form of turnarounds. And I was going to show you some other examples how we can use the turnaround chord progressions. Let's take the song As the Deer Panted For in the key of D. As the deer panted for the waters of my soul, long it after thee. Right there is what we would call the end of a phrase or the end of a phrase one. And on that ending phrase, you can do a three, six, two, five, one that will take us to the beginning of the next phrase. So let's look at some examples. As the deer panted for the waters of my soul, long it after thee. See, I did three, six, two, five which takes me back to you. Alone are my heart, desire and I long to worship you. The melody is being hung on a long note and so we can start putting some extensions on those chords. So, long it after I can go You see, so it's the same three, six, two, five. I'm just extending it. So instead of playing a three, which is just a minor seven, F sharp minor seven, I can make this an F sharp minor seven flat five. So this is a borrowed chord from the key of E minor. F sharp minor seven flat five to B seven sharp five sharp nine. It's my sixth, but I make it ma made it major and altered the notes. Sharp nine sh on flat five. And I went to a, instead of the two minor seven, I did a two, but this is a thirteenth. So this is a E thirteenth, then a A seven, flat uh, A nine with the uh, flat thirteenth. And so we go, long and after thee. You alone. There's some other things you can do. Uh, let's see. One of the things we can do is make this a minor seven. So you hear those additional melody notes I'm playing at the top? So, long at after thee. You alone are my heart. Desire and And that's what they call a turnaround. And you have all sorts of options of messing with those chords. We can even do some tritone sub up in there. You know? As the deer for the water. 
waters, oh my soul, long after thee. So right there, I was just messing around. I did the minor, the sixth, the dominant seven, flat five, flat nine. Then instead of going to the E7 or the E6-9, I went to the tritone sub, which is B flat. So then in context, you have Let's try it again. In context, you'd have the... Uh. So I'm experimenting on the spot, as you can see. And I'm just using my ears to be my guide. There's a lot of options, you know? And this is how I come up with chords. I, I just experiment with the sounds that I like. This is a tritone sub for A. And if you guys are wondering, wait, what's all this tritone stuff? I just released a video over on my website called The Secrets to Passing Chords. And I went through all the seven types of passing chords that I use and I went in depth with the tritone, so you can check that out. So that's as the dare, and you see how I did turn around. You can keep it just basic and diatonic. Long and after thee. And that works too. You alone are my heart, desire and I. Of you. Let's take a look at some other examples. Let's take this jazz tune, Fly Me to the Moon in A minor. Another turnaround I did right there. Up to go. And all the words, baby, kiss me. You'd have played a natural uh, uh, E7 right there to take you back to the A minor. But what you can do, and all the words, baby, kiss me, then F sharp minor seven flat five. Uh, G, E, 13, G, 7, sharp 9, flat 13. Then that takes you back to your E, 7, sharp 5, uh, sharp 9, and back to the 1. So in context, in other words, baby, kiss me. Fill my heart with song. Let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. Oh, in other words, I love you. Right there again, I just did another turnaround. Yeah, let's take a look at what a, what a mighty God we serve, the song that I was, uh, I opened with. So in the key of F. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, 
Heaven and earth adore Him. What a mighty God we serve. That's sort of like the standard gospel turnaround right there. Yeah. And then uh, we played altered five chords. This is a C7 sharp five, sharp nine. And that little walk up I'm doing right there, it's just from three, four, sharp four, five. And in my right hand, I take the three and the five and I just walk those down chromatically. And so together you have, you can even put the seven in there, it's just a walk down from an F7. It's just like, also you can look at it from the angle you just played a, a diminished chord built from the third of the one chord. If you want that chord to sound fuller. But when I'm playing that quickly, some, it's just easier for me to keep it with the third. Alter it. Sometimes they, they do stuff like, and it's, they went to the sharp five, the same altered chord, and then they just move it down chromatically back to the five. And so we have, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. And so on and so forth. So that's the sort of the standard gospel turnaround. And you go back to one. So that's what I wanted to show you guys today. I know this was a sort of a quick video. Obviously, it's more for the advanced folks who wanted to want some ideas on spicing up. This is called the turnaround chords, and there are a lot of places you can do it. And as you see, there are a lot of options to take the standard 251 or 36251, and you can alter them. Make some, make the minor chord a minor seven flat five. You can even make it a major chord a dominant seven. There's just so many options. You gotta use your ear and you have to experiment. And that's the concept of the turnaround chords. Use a lot in jazz, use a lot in blues, and a lot in gospel, obviously. So, thank you again for watching. My name is Warren McPherson. You can always find me at pianolessonwithwarren.com. That's my website. Over on my website, I have a lot more in-depth tutorials on these things I talk about. For example, all the tritone stuff and the passing chord stuff, I have a full video on that. It's an hour and 40 minutes long. I have three other courses for beginners, for intermediate. I have one on blues. And every month, I'll be releasing at least one, sometimes two paid tutorials. And these tutorials go a lot more in-depth than the stuff I do on YouTube. So, if you're a serious piano player, which I'm hoping all of you are, my website's where you're gonna find the real in-depth stuff. Yeah, I'll continue to do YouTube videos, but if you want a more cohesive um, approach to piano that breaks down everything, you can check out those on my website. Also, feel free to email me, war85ren, gmail.com, or on my Facebook, Piano Lesson with Warren and I'll always answer. I'd love to hear some comments from you guys in the comment section. Uh, to let me know what you think of this video, and if you have any questions, you can post it down there also. Until then, keep listening, keep singing, and keep practicing, and I'll see you soon.